In the midst of recalking the rod holders on my boat, the Key West 1720, I decided that while I have access to the cavity between the live well and the hull through the port aft rod holder, it's a two inch, slightly larger hole, I can install a live well light. Originally I was going to install one, it's a round light, requires about a seven eighths inch hole. I opted against that since I cannot get my hand down through the rod holder opening. So I'm going to install an LED light on the inside and run the wires up through the top, out the back where I can grab them and then route them properly through the bilge and to the electrical connections that I'll need. This is the pull twine that I left, ran last weekend, which I'm going to use to help get the wire for the live well light run down into the bilge and then on through. Here I'm checking to see about where I would want the light strip to be mounted for checking the wiring. Decided to drill the hole in the upper corner of the back end of the live well. Feeding the wires through the hole so that they can be grabbed as they exit down through the rod holder access. Attach the pair of wires to the pull twine previously run and pull the wires down into the bilge. These are the wires as they come into the bilge from the port side, cross to cross up at the top and exit the bilge going up into the starboard aft battery box. I didn't film pulling the power wire, the blue wire from the battery box starboard aft up to the center console through the chase using my pull string. I didn't think anyone needed to see that, but you can see here, there you can see the chase as it comes out from the battery box. Route it up through the boot and it will be up in the center console on the accessory switch. Taking up the slack in the battery box so I don't have any excess wire in there and temporarily taping the wires in the bilge just to keep them up. I'm sliding some heat shrink over both wires so that I only have a single cable exposed in the live well. I'm soldering the wires to the LED strip. I don't like soldering in a boat but it's unavoidable here and applying adhesive heat shrink. Here I'm prepping the side of the live well with acetone. You've got to have a clean surface and applying the LED light strip. Making sure that it's good and tight against the live well and then routing the wires in the orientation that I want them and holding them in place with some painter's tape. Did not show these wires being tacked into place with 4200. This is a temporary set up so I can check the amount of light that it will be producing. Here's a quick picture of the final setup, putting the terminal connections on the wires and connecting them. I did not show the connection in the console. Well this is what the light looks like at night. I have filled the live well up with fresh water. but You can see that it's putting out plenty of light. The next day I went out and checked the work that I had done and found that the LED strip was not waterproof. Just putting some adhesive on the back of a circuit board does not make an LED light waterproof. You can see the burnout diodes. So round two of the installation. Okay so now I am removing the damaged LED strip, pulling down the wiring. I had already made a new piece which is another strip of LEDs inside of a piece of clear heat shrink which I filled both ends with 4200 and then shrunk the tubing down. It's completely watertight. Here I'm checking the position of the tube so that I can make sure that I've got the wire length correct before I solder it into the existing wires. Then it's a matter of just cleaning up the residue from the old LED strip so that I'll have a good clean surface for the 4200 to adhere to. And here I'm working out exactly where I want to place the new light. 
after getting all the final adjustments made it's time to get the 4200 out and tack everything in place you'll notice at the top of the live well where it meets the cap that I have already sealed that joint and another project that I undertook during this one is to clean the rust stains out of the bottom of the live well you don't see those orange rust stains anymore and now everything is pretty well tacked in place one little bit more for the wires and it's a matter of just letting the 4200 cure and just because I can I'm going to turn them on real quick just so you can see There's the light strip. Here's a little closer look up of the new light. You can see the 4200 in either end and the LED strip in the center of this piece of heat shrink. And that's the wiring that I've tacked in temporarily. And this is what the light looks like from the center of the boat. The tube was mounted on the inside wall towards the center of the boat so that when you're fishing from the inside you're not looking directly at the light. I am a little concerned that this might be too much light in the live well and blinding us killing our night vision. I'll have to experiment when we do some night fishing later on this year. Well that kind of wraps up this part of the project. I hope to be making good use of this live well light, LED light, later this summer when we are night fishing. We'll find out. Hope this has provided you with some tips. Maybe provoke some thoughts on how you might want to do your own. And if you're following my fishing videos, wishing everybody bent rods and tight lines.